welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started off his week when he and a team of government officials met with a group of tsunamis investors at the office of the President. The discussion was centered around the hospitality industry and the agriculture sector. President Ali was joined by senior minister in the office of the President with responsibility for finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, Minister of Agriculture, Zulfikar Mustafa, Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Onej Walrand, and the head of the Guyana Office for Investment, Dr. Peter Ramsurup. The discussion was then extended at the highest level between President Ali and the President of Suriname, His Excellency Chandrika Prasad Santoki. The President had fruitful discussions with President Santoki and the President of the Federative Republic of Brazil, Sher Bolsonaro. During the working visit in Paramaribo, the heads of state discussed enhancing cooperation in a number of areas, including infrastructure, trade and energy. Talks between the nation will be advanced at the ministerial level in the coming months. During his visit in Suriname, Dr. Ali also took time out to interact with the diplomatic mission to Suriname, including the ambassador, His Excellency Keith George. The President's team included Minister of Agriculture, Zulfikar Mustafa, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Hugh Todd, Minister of Public Works, Bishop Juan Egil, Minister of Natural Resources, Vikram Bharat, and Head of GoInvest, Dr. Peter Ramsaru. As part of his interregional agenda, Dr. Ali also congratulated Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley on her election to serve a second term. Dr. Ali said Barbadians have once again demonstrated commitment to democracy. He said, open quote, Your re-election provides us with the opportunity to concretize the plans and the programs that we have discussed to build on the cooperation between Guyana and Barbados, end of quote. His Excellency said the two nations will continue collaboration at the regional level in the advancement of mutual benefits for their people. Also, Dr. Ali signed the Book of Condolence at the Private Sector Commission in memory of Dr. Ye Prasad, who passed away earlier this week. President Ali had expressed a great sadness when he learned of Dr. Prasad's passing in the early hours on Monday morning. Dr. Ali remembered him as an outstanding soul and a quote-unquote true son of the soil. The business giant and a philanthropist was 93 years old. Earlier at the opening of the Dr. Ye Suprasad Clinical Education Center, Dr. Ali had nothing short of kind words to describe the footprints left by Dr. Prasad. A very simple man, from very humble beginnings, and perhaps the simplicity of this function represents the nature of the man himself. A man who has given his life for Guyana, who Guyana has given a lot to also. Guyana has given, given give him a lot. But more importantly, he has given back to Guyana and we owe him a resounding round of applause for this. On a different note, Dr. Ali's mission to clean up the city is continuing around the Georgetown and the beautification is taking shape. And that's it for the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Goodbye.